Hello everybody, this is SFO, and just told you the guys that I would upload a review of the Tennis Max. So here it is. So the model that I have here is the iPhone Tennis Max 256GB Gold. And 6.5 inch display with a 2688 by 1244 which equals out to 458 pixels per inch if I remember correctly somewhere around there I'm not again I'm not a pixel paper so it doesn't you know really look like to you know I'm not the best at it anywho if you want that information you can go check out like MKBHD or you know any of the other big YouTubers like that um, I'm just a small, you know, humble guy that likes to do, you know, reviews on the phones that I get, and I, I've had a lot of them. So, the tennis max. Obviously, it's what time it is here in Arizona. It's five ten. One sec. All right. So this is obviously the home screen. They put that little wall over there to hide the notch. I am recording this with the Note 20 Ultra, so if you can please let me know how the sound quality is and video quality, that would be great. Well, let's go to settings. Let's go to general. about as you can see name iPhone software version iOS 14 model number serial number yada yada all the good stuff network Verizon carrier all that other good stuff Since this is an unlocked device, it does have multiple SIM card slots. There's an eSIM and a regular SIM. Forgive the uh, you know bouncy video. I'm kind of doing three things at once, but as you can see, um, this phone is a great phone. It's very fast, very fluid. That's why I said when most people talk about you know the 120 hertz, 60 hertz, you know, 90 hertz refresh rates. It doesn't matter. Like this phone is buttery smooth. This is what, two years old? And it's just as smooth as, you know, any of the other phones out there right now. Like the cameras on here, I think obviously there's a dual 12 megapixel right there. You can see. One second, sorry, just multitasking. As I told you, I get this kind of case for all my devices. I also have this one just like this on my Note 20 Ultra. But, so let's just take a picture with the phone, that way I can show you what um, all about it. Oh, this is a new feature that wasn't on the last time I had this phone. The app library, which shows all your apps. And you can go like this. You can search through, scroll through all your, all the apps on your phone. You know, even though Apple is late to the game when it comes to these sort of things, they didn't used to have this. It's just a home screen, all your apps on the home screen. I will say that they optimized it better than Android did. Like, I find this is a better layout. Well, I kind of miss being able to, like, swipe up and, you know, and see all my apps in that spot. Swiping over to the right isn't that bad either. So, um, I believe this device has a 3200 milliamp hour battery, but this gets me... You know, through the day, no problem. Then again, I mainly use the Note 20 Ultra, and this is a secondary phone that's in my pocket. But, 
let's try face unlock let me guess let me show you guys exactly how good you know this phone is still two years old how good the face unlock is ready hold on ready that quick ready it's just as snappy you know, I'm holding it about 10 feet away now and it's still unlocked I'm holding it about that distance away let's try from further it's still unlocked from that distance let's try this distance see just a quick and snappy so anyway the photos let's take a quick picture and da, 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 da. library camera let's take a picture of this nice little case shall we look at the detail like this is a very good camera I mean I don't take very many pictures especially selfies but um, the very little that I do like I said I'm always amazed by the camera quality both this one and the um, Note 20 Ultra, which I which I also have. Um, I will say, like I said, I'm no Apple fanboy. Like I'm no Android, you know, fanboy. If a device is good, I'm gonna say I like it and I'm gonna rock it. Like I love the Note 20 Ultra, but I also love the Tennis Max, and I also plan on getting the 12 Pro Max here soon. So when I get that. I'm going to upload a video on that as well. But um, I found that, like I said, I had this device a couple years ago. I got it when it just came out. And honestly, I mean, like I said, with the software updates, I actually like it better now than it was two years ago with the, you know, this version of iOS. Because, well, that version of iOS was just standard, you know, except on the home screen. This has, like, the the app drawer like I showed you this has a bunch more features like it's it's way way better I mean the speakers I mean given this is a two-year-old device they're not gonna be how it was when they're brand new but let me just pull up a video real quick so you guys can get an idea of the speaker sound And what the video looks like on this with the notch. It's gonna get loud for a second. Though. You get the idea. The speakers are great. Now let me show you a how the scrolling is on here. So let me go to let's just pull up Facebook. Why not? I'm not on here that much. Um, oh crap! It's trying to ask me to log on. Use without. Oh crap! Let's do this. Let's do that. All right. So let's do this. Um. Now the scrolling, as I said, I mean, you can see how this looks with the notch. It's not very intrusive, like I said. Most of the time when you're using the phone, you're not really looking up. So you're not really going to pay attention to the notch. You're looking at the content on the screen. Even with that video that you just saw. Like, if you're watching a re regular video that's not just showing, like, copyright free, like, you're not really looking at that notch to the left when you have it in landscape mode. So it's... It's just, um, 
I don't know why a lot of people complain about it. I mean, yes, it's nice. You guys it's taking up part of the screen. But after a while, just like any phone with any notch, you're not really going to see it. Your eyes are going to adjust to it. And yeah, and like I said, for a two-year-old phone, look at the scrolling on this. This is, well, it's not, you know, 120 hertz or anything. It's fast. It's smooth. Like, it's still an amazing phone. I got this phone for around... $500, give or take? Not that expensive, really. But, um, but, yeah, you can see, you get a good idea of the animations. Um, if you want to see a speed test, I'm sure there's a lot of other YouTubers that, you know, pull it up. But just so you get an idea, like, how fast it is pulling up apps. Like, compared to the cheapy phones that Samsung's coming out with, which I'm not really a fan of. Like, this phone blows those out of the water. This one still blows some of the newer iPhones out of the water when it comes to performance. Which is crazy, you know? But that's just because the software is so well optimized. Like... See how quick that was? Like, it's not... This isn't a bad phone at all. You know? I would actually prefer to get this phone. See, that's what my battery life is. And I took it off charge around two, three hours ago. So, I mean, judge if you will. Like I said, I know there's a lot of uh, Apple haters. Um, but they are making, you know, strides to get give users what they want. Obviously, like I said, with the iPhone 12, they took the charger out of the box, but... They also, like you saw someone point out, they reduced the price for their phones by $50. Their newest flagship phone. So the Max is now $50 less than last year's 11 Pro Max. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's accounting for the price of the... Um, that's accounting for the price of the you know, charger. So you can get two chargers for, the, for that price. So, anyway, that was just a brief video. I told you guys I was going to, you know, come up with it. Again, this is an amazing phone. You know, clean, no scratches, no nothing. It's an overall great phone. The stainless steel on the sides, I think, is probably the best addition. And what Apple does perfectly right. Obviously, no headphone jack, but, you know, that's why I got made Bluetooth. And, um, Bluetooth headphones are mainly what you use nowadays anyway. So... Anyway, that's been my review. Hope you guys liked it. If you guys can, please like and subscribe and share, please. I'm trying to get my channel bigger. Um, thank you. You guys have a great day. Hope you're staying safe during this COVID. Peace out.